Hey everybody, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you how I made this painting from runoff paint. So today I am using a 10 by 20 canvas and I am so excited that you decided to stop by so I can show you how I create beautiful paintings using runoff paint. All right, so this was from a previous pour I did and I decided to add some golden um, interference uh, gold to it. Um, but first I do have to get my gloves on. I don't, I just got my nails done. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my gloves on and as you can see, I am coating the canvas. I'm using Folk Art White Pearl to coat the canvas today. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I love to use White Pearl. If you haven't watched my videos before, um, now would be a great time for you to subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to hit the bell so you get all the notifications um, of when I upload new videos. That way, if you want to learn something, you won't miss out. All right, so right here, what I'm doing is adding the um, interference gold to the center. I was hoping to add a little extra bling to that. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over and now I'm going to try to drag it. Um, this is one of those techniques that I love to do, but as you can see, I always have an issue with trying to just glide it easily. It never works out but it's still one of my favorite techniques. So I'm kind of curious, guys, do you like uh, flip and drags? Do you like when I do those? Is there a certain technique that you prefer that I do? Uh, so I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think about that. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's a, a certain technique that you want to see me do, all right? Okay, so as you can see with this, I am now trying to pop those air bubbles. They are stubborn. <laughs> they're really being stubborn and I've got quite a few of them in there it's probably from when I dumped the um, air, uh, inter excuse me interference gold into the cup uh, that did create some air bubbles um, so one tip for you guys that are new if you don't have a torch you should invest in one um, I do have a link in my description to my Amazon store and I have a torch in there conveniently all right so go check that out if you need one Okay, so now it's tilting time. I do like to look at my painting in the beginning um, just so I can kind of get a look and see what is happening. I've got cells, I've got lines, I've got things that are uh, happening that maybe I don't like that I can run off um, certain areas that maybe I want to stretch and open up. Um, maybe leave some negative space, maybe not. A lot of times I forget about negative space and my husband uh, usually reminds me he's very good about that because I do forget sometimes. All right, so while I'm finishing tilting, I just wanted to remind you guys that don't know, I just got my 10,000 subscribers and I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away three paintings, so don't forget to uh, go to that video and enter to win. And while I'm talking about that, I just wanted to tell you guys again how much I appreciate you guys, how much I appreciate each like, um, each share, each comment you leave. It really does make a difference in my channel. YouTube recognizes all of those interactions and it helps to push my channel, which in turn helps my channel grow. And because this is what I do for a living, that is really helpful. <laughs> and it does help me create better content for you guys, which I'm sure you guys appreciate. Okay, so now I'm just going to cover up the uh, edges, make sure everything's covered up nicely and I'm going to give it one more pass with the torch. And now we've got some wet photos for you. So take a look at these beautiful photos. Look at that nice flyover. You can see the cells. That looks awesome. I love that on the side there. That white pearl really did help create some cells you can see on the side. So that's pretty awesome. I really like the flow of this painting. It looks super cool so far. Okay, here it is, dried result. I know you guys all love to see that, and it dried beautiful. The colors are still nice and bright, and that interference gold is 
gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think of the interference gold in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you're in luck. I have more videos that I know you will enjoy. So go ahead and click one of those on the left and I will catch you in my next video.